So Jason Chaffetz is uh, in charge of the oversight committee in the House. That's why he wants to get the hell out of Dodge. Uh, I told you that that things would be turning uh, south for Donald Trump when Republicans start backing out of the room. I told you that from day one. And then we saw that Chaffetz said, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and resign uh, because he doesn't want that job. It's a politically uh, lose-lose situation for him. If he goes aggressively after Trump, uh, the Republican voters and his base will hate him. If he uh, doesn't go after Trump, then he's not doing his job and he, he himself can get into a lot of trouble if it turns out that Trump did criminal acts or other people in his administration did criminal acts. So he just wants to get out. So he said in the beginning, "Oh, this will I, I, I'm done after this term. Then he said, you know what? I'm not gonna even wait till the end of the term. Now we find out, he's like, no, I gotta get out of here. This thing's going much, much faster than I expected. So Talking Points Memo reports two days after threatening to use his subpoena pen to get his hands on James Comey's reported memos describing his encounters with President Donald Trump. Representative Jason Chaffetz on Thursday expressed skepticism as to whether they actually even existed. So before he came out and said, I've got my subpoena pen ready to get those Comey memos. Then apparently somebody pulled him aside and had a talk to him and like, no, 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 Jason, you're about to leave Congress. You don't get the bribes and all the jobs that you want as lobbyists or going to Fox News or wherever you wanna go if you don't play ball. Now, be a good little boy and go back out there and say, what memos, what memos, subpoena, did I say subpoena? I don't know what memos you're talking about. Uh, Jason Chaffin said on Good Morning America, I don't think they should have actually appointed somebody about the special counsel. I've not seen any evidence of actual collusion. Where's the actual crime that they think they need a special prosecutor to prosecute? I haven't seen that. There's been a lot of flailing, but that flailing started before January 20th. Oh, all of a sudden, your donors talked to you and told you which direction to go to, huh, Jason? You're not so tough anymore, right? Uh, we have seen no evidence of possible crimes. How about when he told Comey uh, that uh, to, that he should stop the Flynn investigation? That's obstruction of justice. Now that doesn't mean you proved it yet. That's why it's your job to investigate it. And if it turns out there's nothing there, then you can prove that it didn't happen. Wouldn't that be a wonderful opportunity for you? Now you don't want that because you know it did happen. Are there potential crimes? Of course there are, witness tampering, obstruction of justice, let alone the actual crime itself of dealing with the Russians and God knows promising him what at our expense, at America's expense. Now uh, we go to the Hill. House Oversight Committee Chairman Jason Chaffetz is expected to announce Thursday that he will leave Congress by the end of June. Oh, Now it's an absolute panic. Before, uh, maybe by then, no, I gotta go sooner. No, I gotta go by June, June's next month. I gotta go, I gotta go, man. What if the memos come out and I'm stuck? I don't wanna get stuck, I hate this job. I gotta get out of here before I get caught between a, between a rock and a hard place. Total, utter panic. Washingtonian reported last week that Chaffetz has been telling fellow House Republicans that he will join Fox News possibly as soon as July. <laughs> so, for him, that's a win-win. I get the hell out of Dodge before the Trump thing drags us all down. And then I can say, it wasn't me, man, I wasn't even in Congress. Number two, I go get paid while I'm getting ready to run for governor of Utah. Number three, I get paid by an organization where I get to do propaganda for my own party, for my own race. It's a perfect win-win, who the hell wants to be in Congress during Trump? I go to Fox News and I get the money, I get the media, I get everything I want without all any of the headaches. That's why he's doing it, but no, he writes a letter telling us it's because of his family. This is why people hate politicians. Jason, nobody believes that. Even your own supporters don't believe that. Even they're not that stupid. So let's give you some of the letter. He says, when I first ran for Congress in 2008, I promised I would get in, serve and get out. Let's pause there for a second. Yeah, but you just ran for Congress six months ago. You this term is only less than four months old. Did you tell the voters when you were running, hey, you know what, I'm gonna get in and then four months later, I'm gonna get out, I'm not gonna serve the whole thing. You guys are suckers for voting for me. No, I plan to just use this for my own benefit and then get out a lot quicker than I told you. <laughs> I don't think you told them that. And what is it with Republicans who love to quit? Sarah Palin, oh, I'm great, I love being governor of Alaska, I love the state of Alaska, I'm gonna run for vice president, I didn't get it, I'm gonna go get a reality show instead. They all quit and run the TV. Okay, continuing with that letter, he said, I told voters I did not believe Congress should be a lifetime career. I knew from day one that my service there would not last forever. Oh, You principled guy, then why didn't you not run last time? 
You just ran the race. Why didn't you come to this conclusion earlier? If you said from day one, you knew that it wouldn't last. Okay. He says, my life has undergone some big changes over the last 18 months. Yeah, Trump got elected. Those changes have been good, if you say so. But as I celebrate my 50th birthday in March, the reality is spending more than 1,500 nights away from my family over eight years hit me harder than it had before. So when you ran again six months ago, you didn't give a damn about your family. Now all of a sudden that you got to investigate Trump, you say, oh, my family, right, my family, right, my family. And in the letter he keeps talking about, oh, my wonderful children, and the one is doing this, and the other one has got wings now, and it's just great. Oh, my family, I just realized I had a family. Why didn't somebody tell me when I was running the campaign that I had a family? He says, I've slept on a cot in my office largely to save money for the Chaffetz family. But also to remind myself that my service there was temporary. Though the time away and the travel has been a sacrifice. Our family has always been united. The public service was the right thing to do. We feel my time in Congress has been well spent, but it now seems the right time to turn the page. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. It was all a giant sacrifice. You didn't want the money or the power. You didn't want to take a high powered and and an even what more uh, better paying job. At, at Fox News and then later as a lobbyist. You didn't want any of that, but you made the sacrifice for public service because you care about the public so much. Come on, does a single Chaffetz voter believe that? This is why America can't stand politicians. You guys are so obviously full of crap. If you're a member of the Young Turks, you not only get the whole two hour Young Turks show on demand anytime you want, ad free, but you also get so many other shows, old school, you'll love it. Aggressive Progressive for guys who are true progressives. Now also Nerd Alert for gaming and tech, what the flick for movie reviews, you will love it. Check it out right now at tytnetwork.com slash join.